so welcome everyone to our webinar. And the topic for today is effective IMPD writing. We will be talking about the equality part. Uh, I, first, I will introduce myself. My name is Ramunia Rukienia. I'm a head of the Central Functions for Regulatory Affairs at Biomapas. And also together with myself is Agli de Montevicciute, Agli's medical writer. Today's agenda uh, is, uh, for, uh, you, you see it, and first we will go through regulatory guidelines, highlighting critical points, then uh, uh, structure and content of the IMPD, also pointing out the main points. Uh, later we present best practices in IMPD quality writing, and finally we will discuss writing style that produce accurate, concise, and clear technical text. So uh, let's agree on the terminology and scope. So IMPD is investigational medicinal product dossier. And IMPD includes summaries of information related to the quality, manufacture, and control of any investigational medicinal product, including a reference product or placebo, and the data from non-clinical and clinical studies, if later available. IMPD, part, uh, IMPD is part of clinical trial applications uh, to be submitted to competent authorities in order to start clinical trials. IMPD follows the ITD structure developed by ICH and for quality part, it's, it just uh, mimics a uh, model three structure. Uh, from a content perspective, it requires detailed product and development data, but uh, to be presented in a very concise way. So here uh, we present the main regulatory guidelines and critical requirements. And the aim of the uh, guideline is to define harmonized requirements for the IMPD to be submitted throughout the EU, European Union. And for uh, non-Europeans, we need to explain that in Europe, clinical trial application, which part IMPD quality is, is submitted to authority of each member state via sponsor intends to perform clinical trials. Therefore, harmonization is very important in that regard that sponsor could prepare one single quality part to fulfill requirements for each member state. And here there are two main reg uh, regulatory guidelines. Uh, uh, first is on for chemical drug products, and the second is for biologicals. And uh, both guidelines for some sections specifies requirements for phase one or later stage development, phase two and so three. And uh, even uh, I would encourage even experienced regulatory people to read guidelines from time to time, as often we tend to expand descriptions, uh, while uh, guidelines provide exact scope. Also, it is very wonderful, uh, beneficial to when you are working on both kinds of products and chemicals and biologicals. So to and we are switching from one to another. So also it's very beneficial to read them. Okay, so uh, here uh, we um, go through chemical uh, guidelines and outline some critical points. So uh, uh, information provided for, for chemical uh, products uh, should focus on the risk aspects and uh, considering the nature of the product, state of development, of course, and clinical phase, patients, and duration of the clinical trials. For drug substances which are covered by a certificate of suitability, a test period should be provided or the statement that drug substance has been tested just before drug product manufacturing. Uh, also, what is important, the change in manufacturing or formulation and the relevance to the former manufacturing site or former formulation should be described. 
uh, others also are related with um, uh, safety and I'm sorry, maybe yes. My apologize, I jumped uh, over one slide. So yeah, for chemicals is critical points second. Second slide, specifications uh, needs to be defining upper limits for individual degradation products and there is some supported by batch used in non-clinical or early clinical uh, studies. And this is also related with safety. And the uh, description of reconstitutional product is required and also solvents, diluents, if they are um, uh, in use, is, should be described. Uh, shelf life extrapolation as recommended by guidelines and uh, information on comparator product if it's relevant. So, so now we are with biologics and the critical points for biologics that uh, biological products often possess uh, several products variants and process related impurities. And once again, they, they are uh, relevant to safety and efficacy profiles, uh, which uh, are difficult to predict. Therefore, for biologicals, uh, specifically safety issues are uh, important and they are related to mechanism of action of biological products or immunogenicity. And uh, also it's very important to address all quality attributes, which once again, affecting safety, it's product impurities, it's a microbiological aspects, viral con contamination and viral clearance evaluation, and those uh, to be used. Uh, what is specific once again for biologic is description and characterization of uh, cell culture expression systems. And uh, as, same as, as for chemicals, change in manufacturing and uh, relevance to form a product uh, regarding comparability. So this, uh, this is all the information of what I wanted to present on regulatory guidelines and pointing those critical requirements. And now we will discuss structure and content. And I would like Aglia to continue. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Agla Dimentavichuta. I am a medical writer within a regulatory affairs department at Biomapas. And today I would like to briefly present uh, the structure and contents of EMPD, uh, as well as uh, uh, give you some tips about uh, uh, EMPD writing and uh, uh, management. Um, so, uh, I uh, will start with uh, uh, drug substance requirements and uh, uh, the first uh, uh, drug substance section uh, should present uh, general information like uh, uh, the nomenclature of the active substance. So, it could be international non-proprietary name proprietary name, company code, uh, laboratory codes, uh, uh, and uh, other names. Uh, and uh, the second subsection, subsection uh, presents uh, um, uh, the chemical structure or a higher order structure of the active uh, substance. Uh, in case of uh, higher order structures, uh, schematic amino acid sequence uh, uh, indicating glycosylation sites or other post-translational modifications uh, uh, are also needed. Uh, uh, such information as uh, uh, molecular weight, uh, uh, other uh, uh, physical chemical properties, uh, uh, biological activity, including the proposed mechanism of action should be uh, presented in the third subsection. Uh, then uh, the next uh, 
uh, section should uh, include uh, uh, the name, address, uh, and responsibilities uh, of the manufacturing uh, facilities that are performing uh, the process and uh, testing of the drug substance. And uh, the methods uh, section should uh, adequately uh, describe the manufacturing process. So in, in case of uh, uh, biotechnological uh, uh, products, uh, uh, it, it would uh, uh, cover the ups uh, upstream processes to the storage. Also, uh, process con controls should be described in a uh, flowchart with all the steps uh, should be presented uh, in the section, uh, as well as uh, information about the uh, batch scale and uh, the processing, if any. Uh, then the third uh, uh, part should uh, contain a list of all uh, starting materials, uh, uh, raw materials, reagents, solvents, uh, uh, chromatography resins, uh, uh, and uh, their uh, part in the process should be uh, described and identified. Uh, in case of biologics, uh, the information on uh, cell line expression vector, uh, cell banks, uh, uh, cell bank characterization and uh, testing should be uh, presented. Uh, the uh, fourth section should uh, uh, list uh, all the uh, all the critical uh, in process controls and their acceptance criteria uh, and uh, uh, process uh, validation and, evalu and evaluation is uh, uh, not uh, necessary at this for EMPD document at, at this stage um, then manufacturing process development should uh, uh, this adequately describe uh, uh, the changes in manufacturing process uh, and evaluate uh, uh, pre-change and post-change uh, 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 characteristics of uh, drug substance batches. And depending on the significance of the change, uh, uh, the comparability may be needed to demonstrate that uh, the quality is not uh, negatively affected. Uh, so then uh, the characterization section should uh, uh, be uh, uh, consistent uh, with the first, uh, first section uh, containing the general information about uh, uh, the product. And, uh, however, in this section, uh, the characterization uh, methods and testing results should be uh, provided as well. And uh, the uh, impurities should be also uh, described. So uh, the process related impurities like host proteins and the toxins and product related impurities like degradation products, aggregates, etc. Uh, and uh, the qualitative and quantitative information about them should be provided. Um, uh, then uh, the in the fourth section of the drug substance uh, uh, part, uh, a drug substance specification should be indicated with uh, relevant tests, me test methods and uh, acceptance criteria. Um, so the specification should uh, uh, include uh, tests for identity, purity, strength, uh, potency, and uh, among others. And uh, if uh, 
uh, any uh, uh, quality parameter is not included, uh, it should also be uh, justified. Um, uh, then the in uh, the method section, um, the non-compendial methods uh, should be uh, described uh, and uh, uh, and uh, compendial methods can just uh, have a reference to the relevant monograph. Um, the in-house analytical methods should be qualified and uh, validated, and this should be described in the in the next section. Um, so the relevant uh, uh, validation parameters uh, uh, would be specificity, linearity, range, accuracy, precision, quantification, uh, detection limit and uh, as appropriate and uh, in the batch analysis section uh, uh, the um, the drug substance characterization uh, uh, data should uh, demonstrate uh, uh, the quality of the batches and uh, uh, should uh, the results uh, from uh, should from different phases of development should be uh, presented, uh, as well as uh, uh, batch number, batch size, uh, and manufacturing date, and other identifying information. And uh, uh, lastly, uh, the specifications uh, need to be justified, and they need to be justified by uh, data. Um, then uh, the reference standards uh, should be uh, well uh, characterized to ensure the consistency between different batches and uh, uh, comparability. Uh, and uh, uh, in-house reference standard uh, may be used, but it also needs to be uh, well described, characterized, uh, specified, and uh, tested. Uh, the container closure system uh, section should uh, contain information about the immediate packaging uh, and uh, possible uh, interactions between the active subsystems. Um, the stability uh, section should uh, include the stability protocol uh, with such information as uh, storage conditions, storage period, uh, specifications, uh, analytical methods, uh, and uh, the stability data should be presented uh, in uh, tables and uh, observed data trends should be discussed. Uh, and. Uh, uh, the uh, clean shelf life should be uh, stated based on long-term uh, real-time and real temperature uh, stability studies. Um, uh, then uh, the drug product section uh, would uh, is uh, would start with the uh, description of uh, qualitative and quantitative composition of the drug product, a uh, statement of the dosage form, also the function of the components and their uh, reference to the uh, quality standards, and uh, description of accompanying uh, delens. Uh, the pharmaceutical development should describe the uh, formulation development and uh, should uh, justify uh, any uh, a, a, a pharmaceutical form or excipients. 
Um, then the ch changes in manufacturing process, uh, uh, in uh, for example, in formulation and dosage uh, should be compared between uh, different development phases. Um, and then uh, the manufacturing uh, section uh, would be uh, the contents of the manufacturing section would be quite similar to the drug substance as uh, the same information needs to be provided for drug product manufacturers. Uh, uh, batch uh, formula should be defined, including uh, a list of uh, the all components and a, a batch size or a range of batch sizes. Uh, the methods uh, should uh, uh, briefly describe uh, uh, the, the process uh, and, uh, and in process controls. And uh, this section also should contain a step-by-step -step flow chart. Um, also then the control of critical steps and intermediates should uh, indicate uh, uh, the action uh, limits or acceptance criteria for the in-process controls and uh, uh, process uh, 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 validation should uh, state uh, and describe the validation of aseptic, aseptic processing and uh, the utilization. Um, then uh, in the excipient section, uh, uh, a reference uh, uh, to uh, pharmacopoeia monographs can be uh, uh, presented if uh, excipients are, are not covered uh, by, by the monographs, then uh, they should have a specification and uh, uh, an analytical uh, methods uh, for such uh, uh, specifications should be described. Um, then uh, such specifications should be uh, justified as well. Um, then uh, any excipients of human or animal origin um, and information about them should be uh, uh, provided uh, and, uh, uh, in, and it can be provided in the uh, appendix uh, section. Uh, and in case of uh, novel excipients, uh, uh, so their full details would be necessary. So characterization, manufacture, controls, and uh, supporting safety data. Um, then uh, for the uh, control of in investigational listener products section, uh, similarly to uh, the drug substance, uh, the uh, specification, uh, analytical uh, methods that are uh, not compendial should be described uh, and uh, uh, validated. Uh, batch uh, analysis should uh, uh, demonstrate uh, the, uh, with data the quality of, of, of of the product and uh, any additional impurities that were not covered in uh, drug substance section should be described. And uh, of course, the uh, specific uh, the uh, provided specifications should uh, be uh, justified. And. Uh, uh, also in the 
the reference uh, standard uh, should be uh, characterized and uh, uh, the intended primary uh, package and uh, in some cases outer packaging should be uh, also described. Uh, again, the, st uh, the stability section would be very similar to the drug substance and uh, uh, it, it also needs to contain uh, the protocol, the results and uh, uh, shelf life determination. Um, And uh, appendices should uh, contain uh, uh, data about uh, the facilities and equipment, uh, um, any materials of uh, human or animal origin, uh, risk assessment uh, for potential contamination, a statement regarding transmissible spongiform and cephalophagy agents, uh, assessment of the risk uh, with respect to viral contamination or any other uh, agents such as bacteria uh, and so on. Uh, so the, the next uh, uh, section of the presentation uh, will be about uh, the uh, organization tips and writing tips uh, for the preparation of the document. And uh, first of all, uh, both the, the technical writer and the project manager should uh, keep uh, the purpose of this uh, document in mind, uh, which is to justify uh, the quality of uh, investigational medicinal product. And uh, this is ensured by uh, quality data as well as uh, its uh, presentation. Uh, so before the writing starts, uh, the organization of uh, the project should, should be in place. And uh, some uh, tips would be uh, to uh, firstly create uh, the dedicated team uh, and uh, use someone who has uh, the skills uh, to write technical texts, uh, a scientific background, uh, knowledge on CTD structure and uh, principal regulatory requirements. Uh, and uh, also uh, identify uh, the CMC data providers uh, coordinate uh, uh, the communication between writers and reviewers, uh, set timelines and uh, uh, communication uh, of uh, and ways of communication and data exchange. Uh, also, uh, uh, it, the reviewer should be uh, identified uh, and uh, uh, in case uh, CMC writing is outsourced to service uh, providers, uh, uh, the description of the product uh, uh, and its uh, development uh, uh, should be uh, shared and uh, uh, the number of review cycles should be agreed on. Um, uh, the EMPD uh, should be uh, electronically compiled for SHD application dossier. And uh, when preparing uh, the document, uh, uh, one should consider SHD formatting guidelines. So for example, a PDF version, bookmarks, hyperlinks, uh, general formatting such as uh, font, font size, uh, uh, table numbers, and etc. Um, before writing, it's uh, 
important to familiar familiarize uh, oneself with a product and understand its uh, development uh, and identify uh, the required data for specific sections uh, from the available documents. Uh, it is important to use only QA approved uh, data and uh, it is helpful to organize at least two uh, review cycles and uh, 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 even an early one because uh, uh, early feedback makes the preparation of the document uh, uh, more effective. Um, so the, the document uh, uh, should be scientifically and editorially accurate and of high quality uh, so that it could cre clearly reflect uh, the stages of uh, product development uh, and a, gr a good writing style contributes to this goal. Um, and uh, Having a prepared uh, template can sig significantly increase the effectiveness of the preparation as, as well as help with the uh, consistency and compliance. Uh, the writing style should be simple and uh, accurate, uh, avoid too many details and uh, repetitive information. Um, also, uh, the use of uh, visual tools uh, for presentation is encouraged. Uh, so the use of tables, charts, bullet points, uh, low level of uh, granulation. Um, the predefined, uh, also uh, predefined review requirements can be helpful uh, and uh, they include uh, check for completeness and regulatory requirements, uh, data accuracy, consistency, uh, formatting and grammar. And uh, uh, it is recommended to keep the perspective of a regulatory reviewer uh, and uh, provide uh, complete information, uh, which is uh, uh, simple. Uh, however, uh, uh, scientifically accurate and comprehensive enough. Thank you. Okay. So we are very happy we received so many questions and I apologize we, we, we are not able during this session to answer at all, but really we will be happy to, to answer and, uh, uh, and provide any short consultations uh, to you. Uh, please follow our website via MAPAS and uh, please um, write any questions you, you have to bd at biomappers.com. So thank you very much for your attention and this um, uh, active session. So thank you very much. Thank you, Aglia, for your participation and uh, we happy to be together and uh, be safety, be healthy, and we talk next time. Thank you, and bye for now.